Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Media Mart Classic TV. Now, today I'm going to talk about how you can be able to track your passport just in case you have finished to apply your passport and you have submitted. So, you have waited for two to three weeks and uh, you are wondering if your passport is ready or it is not. Now, don't worry. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, track your passport and uh, it will be brought to where you are staying or in a location which is near you. Now, one thing you are supposed to know is that uh, during the time for submitting the papers for your passport, there's a paper which they wrote for you. That paper is very important that you are supposed to use in order to track your passport so there's this paper that uh, they gave you uh, after finishing to apply for i mean after finishing to to uh, to to, uh, to apply for a passport let me say you have taken it for biometric uh, data and you have finished there's this receipt they gave you they call it photograph token so that photograph token uh, it is just in the form of a, a slip and uh, they gave it to you so that uh, photograph token has got what we call a tracking number so that tracking number is very important because you are going to use that tracking number in order to request for that passport to be given to you in a place where you are let me say you applied your passport when you are in, uh, in Nairobi and you moved to Nairobi uh, to Mombasa and now you want that passport to come near you instead of you wasting your transport to uh, to go to Nairobi to go and collect it the only thing you can do is just to use a tracking system and they'll bring your passport near you now i'm going to explain to you this whole uh, format so that you'll be able to use it for you to get a passport near you and if you are in any parts of kenya just worry not where you are your passport will reach you when you follow the method that i'm going to show you today now what you're supposed to do is that you need to go to the website and you need to go to the website and then you'll see this they call it passport.poster.co.ke and once you key in that um, link it will now bring you to this particular page whereby you will see passport uh, booking and a collection portal and uh, here they have said that track status of passport now one thing you are supposed to put in mind is that um, this is where you are going to put that number the tracking number they gave you after submitting those documents so that tracking number is the one that you are going to use to key in here so just key in that tracking number you see then after king after um inserting that uh, tracking number in that field you have to click track my passport And now, after clicking track my passport, you will see some details here which they require you to fill. Now, what you are supposed to do is that you are supposed to come and put um, your full names here, and then you put the national ID, you put email address, and then you come here to phone number, you indicate the phone number, and then the office where you want that passport to be delivered to. Maybe if we're in Mombasa, in the location, so like here in Mombasa, you can say, you can just select that one. And uh, just bear in mind that you will pay 1,000 uh, for this particular service so that it will be used for transportation and uh, uh, many other things. So one thing you are supposed to do is you are supposed to select the day that the, the passport is supposed to reach you. 
So you have to choose you come and click on the calendar and then you select the day of which the passport is supposed to, to reach to you. So when you are support when you are doing this is that um, uh, you are supposed to make sure that the details you are filling here are correct. Now after doing this, you are supposed to come here to confirm the passport tracking number and then you submit and once you submit it will take you to the page whereby it will give you the option of either paying uh, just automatic payment of mpesa or they you will have to use the pay bill so it will be up to you when you use the option one of saying automatic payment of mpesa which means the money is already in your MP, in your mpesa account and all you have to do is just click on that and then you will agree on the phone you just key in the pin number and the money will be taken away just automatically and when you use pay with the mpesa pay with the, pay with the mpesa which means they'll give you the account details of how you can be able to pay through mpesa and then the money will be taken and from there um, uh, you submit then from there you have to be able to wait for your passport and it will reach you where you are so guys you are supposed to follow these steps you can see here they say passport uh, passport details you have to put the passport details and then you come here once you click submit details it will it will now take you to confirmation and a payment and once you reach here uh, my friend it is the final step that will be able to uh, to acquire your passport so this is the only way you can be able to have your passport uh, brought to where you are staying thank you so much for following this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and be part of the family thank you see you in the next video